if he was getting a check, how much he was being paid. It's really none of my business in that moment. <laughs> Someone pulled us up uh, about a story about Dave Meltzer being in line in ECW. So, uh, to clarify, the first time you met Dave Meltzer and the line for the paycheck. Yeah, uh, it's I, I could see it in my head vis- 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 visibly right now. He he, uh, there was a guy standing in front of me, wide shoulders, shorter, black leather jacket, and dark curly hair. And I'm I'm sitting there, you know, for several minutes in line waiting for my check. And I'm looking at this guy. And I'm thinking, like, which one of the boys is this? Like I'm like going through the dress room. There, nobody has curly hair like that. So I sort of walked out around and like looked from the side. And Dave was like, oh hey hey franchise. We started talking, you know, friendly conversation. It was no like, hey, what are you doing here type of thing. Um, uh, but like afterwards, I, I, I'm wondering to myself, like, why was he there? You know, why was he standing in that line? Uh, you know, it's and and to be fair, like I, you know, I, I'm waiting for my check, and I've as I remember sitting talking probably to Chris or Bam or somebody or Taz, whoever, you know, just bullshitting in line, and uh, you know. Just sort of like you do it in any queue, you know, you're lined up and you're just boom, he gets there and walks off. And I, you know, I can't say what they even talked about him, him, Paul, when he got up, up there to the line. But that was the first time that I recall like laying eyes and meeting Dave Meltzer. Yeah, there was, uh, I, I, some people had inferred that you had implied that Dave was picking up a check from Paul Heyman, but all you know is he was just in a line, essentially. Yeah. Yeah, it, I don't know if I did infer it. Like, I can't remember like, my exact words, but I, if I did, it certainly didn't mean to. Uh, again, we were standing in line to get paychecks. That's what Paul was doing. Had, you know, the checkbook out and you know, big, you know, big uh, ledger, and uh, you know, each person get up there and just, you know, just like anybody does when they're waiting in line at a wrestling show for their check. Uh, and I, I can't honestly say that I saw him take a check and walk away, you know, fold it up and put it into the thing and walk away. I didn't really pay attention. You know, it's sort of like, like I'm, I'm weird that way. If I come up behind somebody in line that's using like a credit card and they go to do their pin, like I always turn my head because I don't think like I'm, you know, like, hey, what's their pin number? You know, I'm going to just feel awkward, you know? So like that kind of thing to me is a, that's a private conversation. If he was getting a check, how much he was being paid, it's really none of my business in that moment, right? It's like, hey, like Paul, Stop the dressing room. What's he doing here getting a check if, if that's what he was doing? But uh, there was he, he was certainly on the line, and he was certainly talking to Paul Heyman that night about something. 